And welcome to the famous Idaho Potato Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. Here in the city of trees, Boise, Idaho, inside of Albertson Stadium, the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, Central Michigan, winners of five in a row, getting set to battle Wyoming out of the Mountain West. And being unlike others in that fact that he's coming off an injury and he's electing to play in a bowl game, which I think is tremendous. His draft stock, I don't think can go down a whole lot. He's had a tough year, as Jesse Palmer mentioned a moment ago. He hasn't had the weapons on offense around him. Primarily, the running game hasn't been where it was a year ago. Accuracy concerns, maybe. I don't think so as much because I think the great throws override any accuracy issues. And we saw him make some great throws this year, one in overtime against Hawaii and another against Boise State, back corner of the end zone, on the run. That one is a bit legendary. Now, Mel Kuyper has a number three on his big board in terms of quarterbacks at this point. The numbers not as good as a year ago when he had Brian Hill, the all-time leading rusher in Wyoming history, and also Tanner Gentry. And the famous Idaho Potato Bowl is underway. Hall from his eight with a running lane. And across the 45, outstanding field position for the Brown and Gold. And Allen and company need nine yards right now. Backside pressure, Allen stands tall, flings it incomplete. A little more than a month, it's tough. Zaleski punts it away. Chapman will get out of the way for CMU. And a Cowboys bounce after a three and out by the Pokes. Defense of the Cowboys trying to give it right back to Josh Allen. Here's Morris, open pocket. And the hard hit against Ward somehow stays alive, finally corralled by Logan Wilson. If it's not there, Josh Allen can use his legs to get the first down. On third down, Allen flings it caught. That'll move the chains. Price has it. Seven in the box for CMU. It's Conway in motion. Over street straight ahead. It really came out against the Colorado State Rams earlier this year. Showing eye formation. Here's play action for Josh Allen. Steps up. Zips it deep for the touchdown. Jared Scott his second touchdown grab of the season. And the Cowboys strike quickly on their second possession. Josh Allen is such a great teammate, right? He loves all his teammates, they love him. I mean, that is, that is evidence. Backside pressure, Morris lost control and a scrum. Cowboys have it. The second best team in the country turning people over, forces a turnover as Wyoming comes up with the game's second big play. Former walk-on at CMU, calls it his dream job, play action again for Allen. And Allen with some real estate. Sandwich to the 10. Nico Evans checks in, 22 in brown and gold. Cowboys one of two on third down. Allen flush, keeps the play alive. Zips it to the end zone for the touchdown. Austin Conway had it. And from 11 yards out, Allen converts again. Now the scouts love the mobility, they love his presence in the pocket to keep plays alive. And as you would expect in a bowl game like this, the longest running cold weather bowl game right now in college football. They know how to do it. Conklin, his first touch. Chris Ostrowski couldn't believe it. He's like, really? I'm counting on this guy? And, and he got hurt the first play. Play action for Shane Morris, trying to load it up. Flings it down. There's Ward, and he's wide open. Jonathan Ward near side. Needs to make a move, can he? Ushered out just short of the goal line, but a big play nonetheless, and exactly what the doctor ordered for CMU. Sure worked out for the Chippewas. The player did not step out of bounds. His continuing action put him in the end zone, therefore it's a touchdown. They're lined up in a passing formation. I think they're gonna run draw, but you gotta convert him, control the clock. On third down, Allen fires it, caught a one-handed grab right before he a former basketball player at Wyoming, was a point guard. He redshirted his season for the Pokes. Allen has completed five in a row, looking for number six, loads it up deep towards the end zone, passes, caught for the touchdown. C.J. Johnson has it. And the Cowboys strike again, and Josh Allen is 100% healthy today. He's 
playing in a system that Craig Bowl had at North Dakota State, and they had Carson Wentz. So you see, look at my comparison. It, you know, at Josh Allen, Darnold, Rosen. You see spectacular plays by all three quarterbacks, and, and they've led their teams to a lot of wins. Missile fired by Morris. Ball comes out late after the catch. Cowboys think they have it. Let's check the spot, and they do. Marcus Epps got in there, Tom, in the second turnover. As far it has been Wyoming out of the Mountain West as Fort goes in motion. Overstreet needs two. Stacked up at the 10, he'll be just short. 27-yard effort on the way. And right between the pipes, so Wyoming extends its lead. He knows where to go with the ball, and you know if they protect him and give him time, he can do some damage against the defense. Waiting for Conklin to pop open, he does. Pass was bobbled, he'll be about a yard short of the first down. Ross in the backfield, gets the deep handoff, and Ross! Keep the drive alive. Third down coming up for the Chippewas. Trailing 24 to seven. Morris loads it up. The pass is incomplete. The defense knows they have to make a play here. Allen out of the shotgun. After faking the handoff, Johnson. With our defensive backs. And, and I thought, wow, man, when a coach has that kind of trust, that's fantastic. Allen straight ahead and a punishing run yields a first down. Put a, put a big circle around him. Allen again looking to toss it deep, loads it up, fires a pass, it's incomplete. Josh Allen's character, but for his teammates, the fact that Allen played in this game meant a lot to them too. One of them said, knowing that I get to battle with him one more time, Drew Von Manen said to be in the huddle with him, it's just really exciting. Not to mention, he says he can talk about Allen for hours. From Michigan, 72 players, make it 71, the CMU roster from the great state of Michigan. Morris with a pocket. Pass is picked off by Andrew Winger. Andrew Winger, his fifth interception of the season. After Morris airmailed it, Winger escorted out of bounds inside the 30. Allen back on the field, third time today. Pokes have started inside the 30. On the reverse to C.J. Johnson, already has scored a touchdown. And Johnson, play calling continues to be created for the Cowboys. Allen looking towards the end zone. And brought down short, Joe Osman, the city of trees this year, and it gets better each and every time. What a wonderful bowl, a wonderful location. Allen surveying, Allen pressured, escapes. Allen stays alive, finally. Driven out of the 10. Cooper Roth from 28. 13 for 16 this year, and he stays perfect today. What we assume is going to be his final season of production is not what you like. A lot of reasons for that. Here's Morris, pressure down he goes. Gaffon got there, brought him down back at the 30. On Morris in the backfield. Third down and 16, approaching three and a half to play. An important one right here. Ward on the dump off. Nowhere to run, a trio of defenders. Going low on the quarterback, 15-yard penalty, first down. Chippewas have won five in a row, being tested here in Boise, the famous Idaho Potato Bowl thus far. Man-to-man -man coverage for the Cowboys as Morris is flushed, dangerous toss, and it's going to be picked off again by Logan Wilson. Ball was tipped as he released it. Gaffon got there and got a mitt on it. Another turnover for CMU. Four turnovers in the last five possessions for CMU. Play action for Josh Allen, who's been on fire. Wide open is Johnson, caught a touchdown earlier, ran a reverse as well. Really put eyeballs on players, you can really tell a lot, and especially you can see how good they are, and you can see the velocity of the ball when the ball comes out. Up there, quite as quite high as well. It was a roll of the dice to play yep. in this game, and not necessarily that it would create some kind of controversy where he would drop in the draft or soar to number one, even though you told us earlier you think he can go number one. But it was a roll of the dice coming off the AC sprain. He's done nothing to hurt his stock thus far. This time, Corral back at the 40, and that's going to knock the folks out of field goal range. Trevor Apsey got there first, along with Mike Dana. He's going to lose 10 yards and some extracurricular activity taking place. One half of the famous Idaho Potato Bowl in the books. It's all Wyoming. The Cowboys lead it 27-7.
Second down and 11. Looking for Willis instead, spots Chapman, first down plus territory. Film doesn't lie when you watch him this year in the MAC. Ward dances in the pocket, a jump cut, dives across the 40. Julio Jones earlier, DeAndre Hopkins, pick your poison, little flea flicker, back to Morris, and Wyoming all over it from the get-go on second and short. Well, it's second and short, what do you have to lose? The answer's two yards. Third and three. Morris out of the shotgun, off his back foot, and throw it right to the defender, Tyler Hall. Second interception of the season. Hall had inside leverage, and Morris threw it to the wrong side of his intended target. For the pokes. Play action, Allen looking deep. Tosses it, passes caught inside the 40. Evans checks in at running back from the 35. Allen, backside pressure, down he goes. And a punishing hit by Joe Oseman. Second sack of the afternoon, a late flag is tossed. Personal foul, Tony, number 44 of the defense. 15 yard penalty, first down. Everything going in favor of the Brown and Gold so far. Overstreet takes it back the other way. Kellen Overstreet brought down to the five, first and goal, Wyoming on the drive, but they need to push it into the end zone here if you're the Pokes. Trey Woods lines up in the backfield. He'll pitch it to him, the converted linebacker. Cooper Roth, perfect today, a 20-yard effort. He's actually as a wide receiver lined up towards the bottom of your screen. They'll interchange both Polgen and Shane Morris at times. We'll see what Morris does on first down, flings it complete. With an injury earlier back on the field, he almost picked the ball off. Gain of 18. He'll set up the screen pass to Ward with some real estate. Nifty run by Jonathan Ward. And yeah, led the Chippewas in receiving. That was essentially the entire CMU offense on third and long. Morris back in. Lofts it for Willis. Pass is going to be brought in inside the five. Second and goal from inside the five for CMU. Ward straight ahead. Ward nearly lost control, reaches across the goal line for the score. Get a little something, but you said you got to really protect the ball here. Play action, Allen flips it ahead. As time winds down. From the shotgun, Allen surveys. Flushed, Allen. Can he get to the edge? He cannot, and he tripped up, and the blue turf monster got him that time push the blocker back into Morris's lap. Morris fakes the screen one way, heads the other. And Ward fumbles it near the sideline. They'll say it'll stay with CMU as trailing by 16. Still a two possession game with a two point conversion. In effect, and this time Ward, nowhere to run Winger. Was able to get there in a hurry no self-preservation skills. He's a totally free spirit, which, is, which enhances his style of play. Facing a seven-man front, Morris flings it deep, wide open, it's Chapman, and he's got it at the 30. The drive stays alive, busted coverage way down the field. Got to be four down territory here, third and long. From the 28, here's Morris. Flushed again, ball came out, heavy pressure, and it's picked up by the Cowboys. The Wyoming defense comes through again and return for the touchdown by who else? Carl Branderson. The first team all Mountain West Conference performer in guarding your receivers and tight ends. And tonight, I think they've been that again. Conklin on the crossing pattern. Near side, and approaching midfield, ushered out there. So a nice pickup number one draftable quarterback, so there's going to be a few of them. Chippewas, three of nine on third down. Morris pressured. Granderson got there after the scoop and score moments ago. Another sack for big number 91. He's got nearly 10 this year. And graduated Carson Wentz. And, and these two are very comparable, these two quarterbacks. Flushed out of the pocket. Pass is ruled incomplete. Chippewas are going for it here on fourth down at midfield. It, it's, it's a wonderful thing to see, but a lot of good things happen 
when you love the game. Winger drifts back after attacking the line. Pass will be brought in. What a great move for him to come over and play at Central Michigan and just shows great athleticism and just great hands. Morris Coughlin again, a hard hit out of bounds. And an injury that typically keeps an athlete out for six months. He was brought back after five games to the end zone. Pass is going to be picked off. Intercepted. Marcus Epps got there. And that'll just about do it. Coming off a division championship last year. Zaleski gets it away. Chapman from his 46. And a nice move. Ushered out. The wind on the East Coast, the, the Northeaster, when the Northeast weather rolls in, you, you better buckle up. Central Michigan visited a couple hospitals. They visited children's wards and oncology wards and a VA hospital on top of that. Holzen fumbled the football. Cowboys take over. Eight turnovers forced by this defense. A new school record. Creates yet another big play. And Allen in at quarterback yet again. Cowboys fans making their presence felt. Well, it hasn't come easy at times, but for Josh Allen, what should be the final play of his Wyoming career, he'll go out on top one more time, and he is our Capital One player of the game, and rightfully so. Very nice. Final play, that's going to do it. The Cowboys will win the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, led by Josh Allen. What a performance it was, and an incredible defense forcing eight turnovers. A new school record in the final score, 37-14 over Central Michigan.